Thank you for joining us for the fourth annual Southern Nevada Youth Homelessness Summit. On behalf of the movement to end youth homelessness in Southern Nevada, thank you to Ron and Sans Cares for your kind words and continued support, dedication, and leadership. COVID-19 is complicating young people's housing, employment, education, healthcare, support networks, mental health, access to services, and so much more. This is why we're focusing this year's summit on the most pressing issues affecting young people experiencing homelessness today. This is the wealthiest country on the face of the earth, and it makes no sense at all that we expect vulnerable individuals who've demonstrated how hard they're willing to work for themselves to just fend for themselves alone. Well, next year is legislative session, so I hope that we see policy that protect and guide youth out of um, homeless situations. Hey guys, it's Jewel. I had the honor of visiting shelters with SANS and I would love to know some of the tools that you guys have uh, developed for yourselves to help you handle adversity. But showing up for myself the way that I show up for other people um, has been a big thing, like being in my own corner the way that I'm in everybody else's corner because I, I know that I show up for people like nobody's business and I'll go out of my way to be there for other people. Um, and I kind of have to turn that inward and be that for myself. You evolve as you get older. So just look at this as more of an evolving moment and not as an, um, you know, down moment. This is Governor Steve Sislak. I am so glad to see that you have come together to work alongside us to make sure we're doing all we can to tackle youth homelessness head on. I'd especially like to thank the young leaders who've shared their thoughts and ideas throughout the summit. To everyone in attendance, thank you for your time and commitment to ending youth homelessness in Southern Nevada. Youth homelessness is a complex issue which must be met with equally complex and well thought out solutions. We have to think of the factors that shape youth homelessness. And one that must be considered is what role race and racism Place. It's when we look at who's experiencing homelessness that we see a majority population of color. What that means, right, is that the fundamental systems by which we use to attach people to the housing market are still so steeped in racism that that is actually the core driver here, right? It isn't the economics themselves, it is the interaction of those economics with racist uh, systems and principles. There's an exacerbated amount of people that belong to the black community that are experiencing harm at higher rates than other marginalized groups. So that's why when we center black liberation, there is a ripple effect that then liberates other people because we bring everyone along with us. Centering youth voice. We're the ones that are directly impacted by every single decision that you make. We tell you what's working and what's not working. And then you believe us. <laughs> when we tell you that, and then you follow through with us while we help you build something better. Addressing structural racism is integral to each aspect of the Southern Nevada plan to end youth homelessness' central vision to ensure that homelessness among unaccompanied youth in our community becomes rare, brief, one time, and equitably addressed. And again, on behalf of the movement to end youth homelessness in Southern Nevada, everyone has helped put this together all our attendees, our moderator, and our panelists for today. We thank you for joining us and take care and stay safe.